I'm Lisa from Wisconsin. My dad was a veteran. When I was about eight years old, he taught my sisters and me how to fold the American flag into a perfect triangle. No red showing. He would play taps on his bugle and we would fold the flag in the front yard on warm summer evenings. Dad was also a Republican. Now I'm a little bit of a rebel, so I've always considered myself an independent. I vote for the person, not the party. In my lifetime, I have voted for many strong Republican and Democratic leaders. Donald Trump is not one of them. He believes that he is always the smartest person in the room, and anyone with a differing opinion gets fired. Strong leaders choose their words carefully because they understand the impact that they can have. Donald Trump rambles incoherently. Strong leaders take responsibility because they understand that it's the best way to bring people together so we can move forward. Donald Trump, he looks for scapegoats and plays the blame game endlessly. Strong leaders have empathy. Donald Trump only cares about himself. In fact, when John McCain died, his daughter was devastated and it was Joe Biden who went to her to console her, to pray with her, and to grieve with her. Because John McCain was his friend. Imagine that. Democrat Joe Biden grieved his Republican friend. They didn't agree on everything. They didn't agree on how to approach policy all the time, but they respected each other and they cared for each other. That's the kind of leadership that we need in our country today. We need leaders who will reach across the aisle, who will put party aside and work together to find solutions to the challenges that face us all. Donald Trump mocked. John McCain. He berated that American hero. He said that he didn't like people that were captured. Donald Trump mocks our Constitution. He mocks our rule of law. He mocks the balance of power that was so carefully constructed by our founders. He mocks the free press. He calls them the enemy of the people. He mocks career diplomats, decorated servicemen, disabled people, women, immigrants, and science. And he lies. He is a threat to our democracy, and he's a danger for our world. Maybe someday I'll vote for another Republican, but not this year. And I think my dad would approve. In fact, I'm sure he would.